Now, DZR shoes are a paradox. They are all form and all function, and they are marketed as a casual performance shoe. And because of that, DZR has been able to make a product that is very unique and that I like very much. Now, I've been riding in DZRs for two years now, and I have to say, I've had two pairs over two years, and I've quite enjoyed them a lot. DZR shoes are the almost perfect commuter shoes. While I do really like DZR shoes a whole lot, there is one glaring problem with them that is just unforgivable that I've had in my experience. Now let's go over the pros and cons of DZR shoes. If you're looking for clipless shoes that'll be great for commuting, DZR shoes fill that role very nicely. They look casual so that you can wear them just about anywhere and not get any weird looks for wearing cycling shoes, and they are also very comfortable to walk in. But at the same time, they do provide that performance advantage over platform pedals and toe clips. So in DZR shoes, you get all the walkability of just regular shoes, but you get all the performance benefits of wearing clipless shoes. DZR did a really good job of balancing the stiffness in their shoes. They have just the right amount. They have a good amount of stiffness to provide all the comfort and all the performance benefits that you get in a really stiff cycling shoe, but at the same time they are flexible enough in order to let you walk around comfortably in all day. Now of course, DZRs are not going to be as comfortable to walk around in compared to just regular shoes, but if you are willing to sacrifice that little bit of walkability to get that huge performance benefit while you're cycling, then DZRs are a great fit. Now I think DZR did a really good job of designing their shoes. They look like normal shoes and they also paid attention to details. One of my favorite details about this shoe is the reflective logo on the back. This actually adds a whole lot of visibility when you're out biking at night. Another little nice touch that I really enjoy about these shoes are the elastic shoelace holders. Now you tuck your shoelaces in here, they don't get untied, they don't get caught in your chain and it's just a big convenience and a big safety measure that I really appreciate in the shoes. Now after two years of riding DZR shoes, I have experienced a little nice benefit that is kind of superficial. It is a conversation piece. Since these shoes are a little bit different than anything else that is out there, people are kind of curious about them and they just get a conversation going. And I thought that was kind of a nice plus, no matter how superficial it may be. Now that I've went over all the things that I like, let's go over the one glaring problem about DZRs that is just not acceptable. So I've worn two pairs of DZRs and each of them has only lasted me about a year. My first pair exploded and there was just no way getting around that. And my second pair of DZRs, after wearing them and abusing them for every day over a year, the shank cracked. Now when I drop $80 on a shoe, I kind of expect them to last long, no matter how niche or how gimmicky I guess you could say they are. If I drop that much money on a shoe, I want them to last a long time. Unfortunately in my case, my DZR shoes were not covered by warranty because it is a limited 6 month warranty and they crapped out after about 8 to 12 months. Now I do plan on sending in my pair of shoes into DZR and seeing how much it'll cost to repair them because I do like them so much. But just the fact that they are not so durable to even last a year of daily use, it's just something that is very off-putting about these shoes. So, should you buy these shoes? Well, the thing is, I really do like them, but because of the durability issues that I've had in two of my pairs of DZRs, I am hesitant to make that recommendation. Now, if you don't use your shoes every day and ride in them every day, then your DZRs will probably last you a lot longer than mine have. But if you are demanding on your products and demanding on the things you buy, and if you abuse the things you buy, then these probably won't be the best shoes for you. And you'd be probably better off just sticking to toe clips or platform pedals. But that is a whole nother discussion. So, are DZRs right for you? Well, I don't know. Consider the durability about it, but they are the almost perfect commuter shoe. Thank you.